Hello and welcome back to another series of This War of Mine. A little bit about this game, basically you are playing as a group of civilians trying to survive in a besieged city. Uh, during the daytime, snipers are outside and they stop you from leaving your refuge. So you need to focus and maintain your hideout during the day, and at night time you'll get a chance to scavenge nearby locations for items that will help you stay alive. Um, you make life and, life and death decisions uh, that are driven by your conscience. Um, you try to protect everyone uh, in your shelter, or, or you can sacrifice them to endure hardships during the war. Um, there is no good and bad decisions, there is only survival. The sooner you realise that, the better it says on the About section uh, of the game. So this game uh, was made in 2014 by 11bitstudios.com. Uh, well, that is the website, 11bitstudios. Dot com. Um, now let me see a little bit more about this game. We are going to be running it with um, mods, and that mods, uh, those mods will be, um, yeah, but basically the Walking Dead style of this War of Mine. So we've got Daryl, uh, we have Rick, and we have Glenn, who are going to be joining us um, on this on this uh, trek through this War of Mine. Yeah, so uh, the website, I just pulled it up now, is 11bitstudios.com. You can also get it on Steam. Uh, both of those links you will find down in the description below. If this is something you would like to see me continue, let me know down in the comment section. Um, what I am planning on doing is short episodes, so basically um, one day, one night cycle, one episode. Um, and this will run for 80 days, fingers crossed. Uh, if we do not die in <laughs> in the meantime. So we'll try our best to keep our characters alive here. And let's get on with the game. Let's click the continue button and we're going to get on with day number one. Let's do it. Alright. <clears throat> day one. Love the artwork in this game. This This is one of a kind game style artwork. It's just amazing. It's, it's all hand drawn or you can see all the pencil lines uh, sketched. It's just brilliant. It's so ambient. The music is, uh, you know, really, really cool. So this is our um, hideout. This is where we live. Uh, it is basically a 2D sort of, yeah, I mean, it's not, not even 2D, it's 3D, but it's just uh, side, side scroll. So here we go, we've got Rick, we got Glenn, and we have Daryl. So what does this say? Um, war has been raging for countless months, and the besieged city has been reduced to a sea of ruins by constant shelling. Going outside during the day is like inviting snipers to target practice, indeed. Um, everything is sh in short supply, and what little aid reaches the city is sieged by most of the ruthless and the best armed. A few residents were lucky enough to flee, the unlucky ones who missed the last refugee convoy are left behind to fend for themselves. Ordinary people huddling in the ruins, relying on each other to survive. So this is what we have folks. Now, we can interact with our world here. Um, we're going to start to clear some rubble piles. Um, and we can move around with the scroll button here. And we're going to open up some doors. Uh, and, and yeah, basically just have a look around our shelter down here. Um, we do have things that we can loot so let's go down and have a look in this area down here. We can double click on it to make the make the character run so we're working with Glenn at the moment. Now we can change that by hitting the tab button and he'll move over to Daryl. Let's do something there Daryl. And what have we found? Okay we have found some weapon parts and we have found some electronic parts. Excellent. We're going to grab all of them uh, and we'll exit that screen. Now everything we grab will go into our inventory which you can see here. Um, these are the materials that we have so far to work with. So what are we doing? Are we grabbing them all? Yeah okay we'll grab them all. So I think now if we go back to our things, yeah we have all of this stuff here. So yeah we have a little bit of a, uh, a story here. Our shelter is one of the is <laughs> one depressing ugly ruin we should do something about that okay we will try to do our best to clear it up uh, we only have one chair we lack beds we have to sleep on the floor it is hard to get a good night's sleep on on hard cold concrete and the condition of those uh, who are sick or wounded may drastically worsen 
Uh, we don't have a radio. We don't know what's going on in the city. We really miss books. Um, a good book could help us forget the horrors of war. Staying here is slightly better than living in the streets. Uh, so it's like a bit of a journal here. Um, we have breaches on the walls. Our shelter is not safe. And we have to constantly be on guard. Right, so we've got a bit of a journal now. When we click on the characters as well, let's have a look here at Rick's bio. Um, just before the war reached Pog Pogren, our unit has received news. Yeah, so we've got a bit of a bio here of, of Rick, um, which does not relate to The Walking Dead, by the way. It's a separate thing altogether. Um, same with Glenn, I do believe. Let's have a look. Glenn is persuasive, so they've all got traits as well. Um, yeah, have a read through that, guys. And let's have a look at Daryl. Daryl is a skilled wood chopper. I thought he would have been a skilled bowman, to be honest. And he has a little bit of a bio there as well. All right, let's continue on with our rummaging through the, these uh, dirt piles and clearing up this area. You can click on the characters as well. You don't have to use the uh, tab button to switch between them. We have found some more materials, so we're going to grab all of that. And of course, they will stack on each other as well. Okay, we have a time. Um, it is now 9 a.m. on day one. We have a temperature of 19 degrees. We can end the day and go scavenging, but we won't. We will um, stick with what we're doing at the moment, which is trying to clear out the, um, the house for everyone. Make it nice and clean, and we have some more goods. Uh, we have parts, and we have weapons parts as well, which will come in handy uh, in crafting in the future. Right, let's get down here, um, fella, Rick, and go and do some jobs. Um, what can we do here? Let's clear out this rubble pile with Glenn, and hopefully get access to this wardrobe. Uh, and Daryl, what are you doing, buddy? Okay, we've got some more good stuff to grab let's do it and this dude here he is not doing much of anything so let's send Daryl up there to clear out another rubble pile so we have um, food that we can survive on as well but we don't have anything at the moment we need to go and do some scavenging let's get that guy and Glenn you go and do that rubbish pile like we asked you to um, Rick is opening a door Unboarding a door at the moment. He is familiar with guns. Excellent. Okay, let's take all that good stuff and get Rick to clear out this rubble pile. Glenn, what are you doing, man? Oh, it's locked. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, let's head down. So I think it's about 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock it will turn dark. And then um, we will be able to go and scavenge through some buildings for some more supplies and food. Food is something that we are desperately in need of. Um, these rubble piles do take a while to clear, um, as they do not have any tools at the moment. They're doing it with bare hands. Um, so that's not good for them. We need to get some tools underway. And we do have a crafting bench down here as well. We will take a look at that in a very short minute. Uh, we'll just get these dudes to do a few more little bits and pieces around uh, this place, and then we'll go and take a look at that workbench. All right. Okay, Daryl, you're doing a very good job there, buddy. And we're just about done with this rubble pole, and then we're going to go and have a look at what is in this wardrobe. Right, so as you can see, over here we have a big hole inside of our building that needs to be patched up. Um, we're going to take all that good stuff, and we are now starting to accumulate some really good things. Uh, we have 25 uh, wood, we have 10 weapons parts, we have 30 components. Um, various components needed to make just about anything. Nails, duct tape, plastic, containers, uh, scrap, things like that. Brilliant. Okay, so Daryl, you're going to come down here and have a look at the workbench for us. Um, Glenn is still digging away, and Rick is just about done here. So we'll get him to have a look in this uh, wardrobe for some more good stuff. Ah, and it's locked. Right, we can do something about that soon enough. Um, at the moment, we can't really do too much about that. We don't have any tools to pry it open. Okay, Daryl has just opened up the workshop. So now we've got a few things we can build here. We've got a bed, um, which take, uh, obviously, 
wood and some components to be able to produce a bed. Um, we have a chair, we don't need a chair. We have a simple heater which we will need come the winter time. Uh, allows for heating at the shelter so we don't get ill. Um, we can prepare fuel for it using wood, books or various components, very cool. Uh, radio. Yeah, so this is going to be helpful to prepare, uh, to, to help us understand what the weather forecasts are. And also music. I do believe, yes, we can listen to music to brighten up our mood. Um, we have a crude stove so that we can, we can cook on. We have a moonshine still. Um, some sugar and water to make foul tasting but strong booze. It is really good for bartering with. Um, and that's yeah, pretty much that. Uh, workshop, metal workshop, allows us to make tools such as shovels for clearing rubble, there we go, crowbars for breaking doors, knives for self-defense, uh, later we can use it to build more advanced tools and even repair firearms, fantastic. Rainwater collector, we need this in our lives, these are a couple of things that we're going to need to start off with, there's a rainwater collector and a crude stove, we don't have any food at the moment but... Um, Basically, no reason why we can't go about making a rainwater collector, and we will do that. We can move it around the world to wherever, or around our area to where we want it to be. I am just going to put it right in here, like so, close to the workbench, um, and we'll go place. Okay, Rick, what are you doing? So Daryl is making, uh, making that rainwater collector. Glenn can go and finish scavenging the pile and Rick, you, sir, can head upstairs and go and do this one for us up here. Very cool. You can do a run job on that. Double click it. Okay, Daryl is just about finished building the rainwater collector. Fantastic. So, we'll click on that. Now we need, um, it looks like we need a filter. Uh, to, to filter the water to make it clean. So let's go back to our workshop. What are you doing, fella? Get up there. Right, okay, and make a filter which takes three components to make. Or one wood. Oh no, that's fuel. Okay. Yep, yeah, fuel. So we need we need a, a filter, so let's make that filter. You Rick. Go back upstairs, do some rubble clearing, and be happy about it. Okay, Glenn's doing a good job down there. They will be getting sleepy, and they will be getting hungry. We do need to make a bed. Uh, Daryl has made the filter. It should be sitting in our things. There it is right there. Excellent. Okay, let's jam that in the, uh, in the, uh, yeah. In the water thing, <laughs> the water thingy, um, and let's make. Okay, so that will now start to produce water for us. The timer is counting down, it is almost night time, so it looks like uh, night time will be at 8 o'clock and we have the water being done. Uh, you can see the wee counter. Here we go with night time. To start off with, we have a couple of places we can go. We have the Sheld Cottage, um, and it gives a wee description up here in the top right. This neighbourhood recently got shelled and many houses are still burning. People were fleeing for their lives in a hurry. So we may find some useful stuff here without meeting anyone. So I've got huge amounts of food, huge amounts of materials, some meds, uh, huge amounts of weapons, huge amounts of parts. Or we could go to the abandoned cottage and things change depending on location. I think we're gonna, we're just gonna go to the cottage for now, perhaps. Um, now over here we've got people who we can take. Um, he is a Glenn is a scavenger, so we will take Glenn. We will let um, Daryl guard, and we will let Rick sleep. Uh, we don't have any beds at the moment, so he's going to have to sleep on the floor. Okay, let's prepare and let's get to the sheltered cottage. Let's do it. Uh, we don't have any weapons with us, so. We will not be taking any weapons with us. Um, this part of the game lets you take, um, say for example, a crowbar to open some stuff. So we'll, uh, if we had a crowbar, we could potentially take it along with us, but we don't. So let's get on with the scavenge job here. Get to the uh, shelled cottage. Right, so here we are. 
this is the shell cottage let's zoom in a bit and see what's going on we do have a limited amount of time so let's go and get things underway let's have a look here Glenn's being nice and sneaky he has uh, right we'll take it we'll take it all because we're gonna need all the stuff we can get here and especially food um, we have fists so we can swap over to fighting or scavenging and we're gonna scavenge so let's have a look in the next wee pile of stuff right we have some food now this is canned food we need it in our lives okay you can also um, like full stack is four for the components um, and for wood it is two okay so we'll get some full stacks going on and we'll leave the rest till next time here uh, exit that okay let's have a, a peek through the keyhole make sure no one's behind the door all right we can see into the next room and it looks pretty clear to me let's open the door all right we've got a fridge we're gonna go and raid the fridge let's do it get some good food in us let's take back to yeah look at this excellent okay we're gonna be taking all this good food uh, water is another thing that we're gonna need a lot of so let's take the water um, and we'll move on to the next bits. So our inventory now is filling up very, very nicely. We have two more slots left. So let's have a look around and see what we can find. We have to be wise with our decisions on what we take here. Uh, we can always, right, we're gonna, oh no, whoops. What do we have? Let's have a look at these things. Um, herbs, various herbs can be used to make um, um, herbal med medications and roll up cigarettes. Uh, we have sugar there'd be no moonshine without sugar essentially for the fermentation process okay very cool very cool and of course we've got wood uh, essential component for all kinds of stuff plus uh, we can chop it to make fuel for stoves and heaters brilliant okay let's have a look at the next wee area it looks like we may have a bit of a basement down here as well okay we're gonna definitely take these bandages we will need those in the future Okay, and what what else do we have? Let's head down, if we can. Can you head down the stairs? Yes, you can. Fantastic. Okay, so here he goes. We do have line of sight here. Um, oh, we have something up there as well. Someone walking around, or it could be a rat. All right, let's have a look in this wee pile. We'll come back here and remove these when we have the tools to do it. So, yep, we're definitely going to grab that. Uh, we'll leave a couple of those wood pieces behind just in case we've got more food let's head back up here and when we come back next time we'll remove these um, piles and go and have a look at the wardrobe and uh, whatever else we have now we have something up here that is being detected and uh, it looks like it may be a rat because they do make noise let's go and have a quick look we don't see anyone Well, let's just go in here first and have a look. Uh, open. Okay, we've got a lock, a uh, locked door here, so we can't get in. Yeah, it looks like we do have a wee sc a scurrying wee rat here. All right, let's have a look. Excellent. We'll take some more food. Fantastic. Okay, just for now we will take some more. Actually, we'll grab the wood. Um, we don't have too much wood left, so we'll take that. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't stack in any more than two, which is a bit of a shame. However, we are set for food, which is fantastic. Okay, and this door's locked. We cannot get in at the moment. We do not have the tools to be able to do so. Um, we still have a little bit of time left on the clock. Let's go and dig our way through this rubble pile. Make it easier for next time. And if we can, we will have a look here. Now this may take a little bit of time. We are doing it with our hands here. Um, however, it may be important to get into this wardrobe. Uh, there may be a gun in there or other tools that we could use. So let's just bear with it um, while he's digging away. We do have plenty of time left. So just talking about these areas that you come across, I mean, the, the artwork is just amazing. We've got a roof on fire. Um, well, 
It, it is blurry, but it's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, it's just like amazing. You can only sort of see uh, clearly in the vicinity that you are. So in here we can see quite well, you know, broken old staircase, um, dirty old bath, things like that, good old rubble pile. But up here, it's, it is blurry because we're not in the immediate uh, area. And we obviously we can't see the rat that's running around, um, things like that. We're nearly done with this rubble pile. Take a look on this uh, wardrobe here. Hopefully we can get some uh, weapons to defend ourselves back at base. Be really, really cool. Alright Glenn, you're doing a fantastic job there buddy. And we are done. Right, excellent. That's one less we have to do. Well, uh, and it's locked, okay. Well, that's ruined that, but at least next time we don't have to clear it out. We can come back with a crowbar and pry it open. I'm just thinking, let's try and get this one done as well. There's probably not going to be too much here. Uh, we are slowly running out of time. But the more we can get done in this area, the less time we need to spend uh, here on the next one. We can just do a real quick whip, whip round and uh, get all the stuff we need. We may not be able to clear this rubble pile by the time... Uh, yeah, by the end of the, uh, the cycle here. We will try to. And we, yeah, if we do, we'll check this and then we'll go to the exit and head back home. So we're doing this at night time to avoid the snipers. Um, we're doing a bit, of a, a bit of a stealthy mission here at night. As the snipers uh, have the most visibility during the daytime. Alright, we're not going to make it. We're going to have to uh, run to the exit. So let's do it before we get trapped. Now that's another thing, um, if you don't leave before the time um, time counts down, then he doesn't make it back for the next day. Um, he will stay in limbo and you will only have a couple of guys to do what you need to do in your house until the next day, until he finds his way home again. Anyway, that has um, been the first day of this war of mine. Let's hit the, uh, oh here we go, we've got a daily log. So Glenn has brought, brought back a whole lot of food and a whole lot of supplies and a few bandages and a bit of water, which is fantastic. So that has been day number one, folks. Um, day number two will be tomorrow. So if you like the episode, hit the like button. Um, please leave me some comments and some feedbacks in the comment section down below. Um, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing for more of this war of mine. Take care, have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.